Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at the power supply you probably should buy, but you might not want to. Keep watching to find out why. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Seasonic Tough Gaming Alliance. This is the GC500 Core Edition power supply. This comes with a seven year warranty. So when I said at the beginning of the video, this power supply you might want to buy, but again, you might not want to. There is a good reason for that. So this comes with a seven year warranty, 500 watts. They also do a 600 and a 650, possibly depending on when you're watching this video, there may be some other options available. You've got a GC, a GM and a GX range. Now the GX range is fully modular. You've got the GM, which is semi-modular, and you've got the GC range, which is basically fixed cables. So potentially that is a reason why you might not want to buy this if you have a slightly smaller chassis and you do want to hide away some of those cables. But don't worry, there actually isn't a great deal of cables actually attached to the power supply, so it may not be that difficult to cable manage anyway. And also it does come with some really nice licorice style cables, which are nice and flat and black and should be pretty easy to cable manage anyway. As you can probably see, it has got the Tough Gaming Alliance logo on there. So there is a kind of a, a collaboration between various manufacturers around the world, uh, Asus, Seasonic, Cooler Master, etc., etc., which all are part of the Tough Gaming Alliance. And basically what they try to do is to make things uh, relatively inexpensive, but high quality and basically tough, for want of a better word. So designed to last. And again, with a seven year warranty, this certainly should do. Also, you got it backed up with an 80 plus gold certification. So depending which region you're in, if you're on 110 volts or 230 volts, you may find that it's slightly around the 90% efficiency, but here in the UK, we'll be hitting somewhere between the sort of 92 to 93% efficiency, pretty much through the entire range of the available power, which is awesome. On the side of the box, more details, uh, same sort of thing again. On the back goes through the power curve, which you can see is actually relatively flat, which is something you wanna see. So that means that the power usage or the power kind of consumption in terms of what you put in and what you get out is gonna be relatively consistent and anywhere up to about 90% it's at kind of its best loading. So that is excellent. Again, it's achieved the 80 plus certification. You've got tons of other features on here. So you've got a smart fan on there. So the fan isn't a brilliant fan. Now, some of the reasons they've actually saved money on this particular design is they've done things on a cheap basis. So we do have 105C degree caps in here. The main capacitor is a 105C Japanese cap. The rest of them, not quite as good as you'd normally see from a Seasonic power supply. But heck, this is half the price, so it is to be expected. Also, some of the other kind of nice creature comforts, such as kind of braided cabling, or you'll see what the cabling is like later. I'll explain that. Uh, you've also got things like the little thing that goes around the outside of the power supply to kind of uh, keep it in place, like a grommet. They don't have one of those, it's basically a cable tie. The actual fan, it is a 120 mil fan, but it is a sleeve bearing unit from Globe Tech, which isn't great, but they've put a seven year warranty on it. So it can't be that bad, can it? They've got faith in it. So maybe we should too. They also talk about things like type voltage regulation, all that kind of usual stuff, which I'm not in a position to test. So I will take their word for it. Heck, this is Seasonic. They do make this power supply themselves. So this isn't one which is kind of farmed out to somebody else. And then they just stick a Seasonic badge on like we saw with the SI12 models, which I think was SI12-3 and SI12-2, which were kind of Seasonic badged, but they were made elsewhere. This, from what I can tell, is made entirely in-house, but just done on somewhat of a budget. So talking of the budget, let's see what we actually get for our money. So surprisingly, actually, we get a decent amount for our money. Now, actually, I should talk about money. This is, at the moment, a particularly good value option for those of us here in the United Kingdom. This is the very first week of January 2023, and this is currently on offer at scan.co.uk for $44.99 with free postage, which, if we look around at the moment, the PSU market is basically being hammered. All of the good deals are pretty much dried up, and if you're looking for a relatively low-end power supply, even the cheapos, such as the CITs and uh, the AeroCools, which we've reviewed previously, they're kind of creeping up to the sort of 35, 40 pounds mark. So spending an extra fiver and getting something which possibly is a lower wattage, but gold rated and from Seasonic and with that seven year warranty, I think this makes an absolute ton of sense at the moment. Now, I don't know how long that offer is gonna be going on for. Uh, scan, don't give any indications of when it's gonna end. So um, it's been on for about a month already. So depending when you're watching this video, then it may or may not be at that price. Obviously, if you do want to stay up to date with keen pricing, on PC peripherals, do head over to our Discord and join 
it's completely free and you will get access to our bargains no chat room which is basically posted every day with excellent deals around the uk and also around the world so do bear that in mind anyway so moving on we do get something which is actually very cool and very handy is a seasonic power supply tester so this is a 24 pin adapter you basically plug it into the end of your cable put in your mains cable turn it on and it will trick the fan to actually turn on the power supply to turn on just to make sure that everything is okay i quite often use one of these when i'm testing cases and rgb fans that kind of stuff it's quite handy and definitely worth having so that is a nice little value added there is also an installation kit as well so you've got a bunch of cable ties there about 10 cable ties there's three or four static wraps as well which are uh, seasonic branded which is always nice to see and you get four screws to actually install the power supply into your pc and speaking of which, there is also an instruction guide. So if you're a bit of a noob at this, you're not too sure where everything goes or how it all goes together, then there is an instruction guide, which is uh, quite handy. You also got the option to uh, potentially win $50 Steam gift card by registering your product, etc., which you would need to do to get your warranty. And also you get a thank you from Seasonic, which is uh, pretty nice. And there's also your user manual, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, we're not really bothered about most of that. What we're mostly worried about is the power supply itself. You do also get, I should mention, you do get a power cable, which will be suitable for your region. This is the UK IEC lead or kettle lead, as I often refer to them. So it's nice that there's actually one in there. Some power supplies don't ship them, which is a little bit bizarre, but it does happen, believe it or not. So let's take a look at the power supply itself. This is a relatively compact unit. It has got a built-in DC to DC converter, 120 mil fan, which is very silent if that is a thing, but very quiet, I should probably say, almost silent, basically silent. When it's under full load, it will ramp up a little bit, but not hugely, but pretty nice looking unit. You've got a lot of the uh, kind of tough branding going on, like yellow logos, etc. So the label on the side shows us our voltages, etc. So on the 12 volt rail, we're looking at 41 amps, which if you work out that, it's basically just short of 500 watts that is stated, which is kind of common these days with power supplies. So looking back 492, 493 watts. Um, take into account the other rails, obviously you're going to push way past that 500 watts. It's not like this is a, a cheapo, this is a decent unit from Seasonic, so I shouldn't worry too much about that. Obviously, depending what load you're putting on it, realistically, somewhere around about 350 watts for your system, this is going to be fine, it's going to give you a little bit of headroom as well. When it comes to the rest of the unit, really nice looking, so you've got the, uh, the fan in there, all nicely blacked out, you've got the honeycomb mesh, which is always preferable. You've also got on the back honeycomb mesh also, and a little bit of Seasonic logoing on there power switch etc all the kind of usual stuff mostly blank actually in a lot of areas other than the, the sticker on there and something i was on about earlier no grommet on this section here so normally you'd have like a rubber grommet to keep the cable safe there is just basically a cable tie holding it in place which isn't ideal but it'll do the job as long as you're not going to be moving it around too much which probably you won't be because these are all as you can see captive cabling so completely captive cabling so all the cables on there are completely attached and you can upgrade them remove them change them etc i suppose best case scenario if you wanted to change the look of them you could add a cable extensions but yeah it is what it is if you're spending this kind of little amount on a power supply it's unlikely you're gonna go with extensions anyway but just thought i'd mention it Okay, so let's take a look at the cabling, and as you can see, it is all black cabling, which is really nice if you're doing uh, a build where it's going to be visible, no ketchup and mustard on show. Let's start off with the main one, so I'll put the uh, dimensions of the cables underneath as well, so you can see what they are, but you get a 24-pin connector, which actually has the uh, extra pin, so if you want to take that off, you can do to make it a 20, should you need to. Uh, this one is the only one of which, which is actually braided as well as being blacked out, so that's uh, pretty cool. Also, you have a dual graphics card output, so PCI Express. So this is a 6 plus 2 or 8 pin. There's two of those which piggyback on there. Realistically, you probably don't want to be using both of these at the same time. You can do if you need to, but ideally you want to use just one for the sort of cabling we've got here. And what I said earlier a little bit about the kind of the cheap or the cheaper bits that are going on here. You can see this is kind of like two cables, so the cables are all sort of split. Now that isn't the end of the world, you can cable manage it still, but it's just, it would have been nice to see these either wrapped or just as a single cable, but it is what it is. Again, so you've got two PCI Express eight pins on there or six pins, whichever you want to use. There's also only a four plus four for your EPS connector or CPU additional power. And it's so cheap, even it doesn't lock together. So for some of you, when you're actually doing your build and you're trying to get to that EPS connector in that top left-hand corner of your motherboard, and if you're like me and you've probably put the radiator or fans in the way already and you're trying to squeeze this in, these can be a pain. Uh, it's not entirely 
game over, but it would have been nice to see one of these actually just being one that's either slots together or attaches together. I guess a little bit of super glue could overdo that, but again, got that split cable as well, which yeah, isn't great, but it will get the job done. When it comes to your peripheral connectors, so there's not a great deal here, and there's only three Molex connectors on there, which most people probably won't use anyway. Uh, some fans, some RGB units, that sort of stuff may still use them, but they are there. Three of them on there, daisy chain together, and they're actually decent quality ones, so not all bad. And when it comes to SATA, which some of you may or may not use, these again are slightly cut down, so we've only got two SATA ports on each one of the cables, and there are two cables of just slightly differing lengths, but not a great deal. One is a little bit longer than the other, so maybe one could go to your drives, one could go to an RGB controller, that sort of thing. But overall, I think pretty much most of the bases are covered. Even though it is £45, it is effectively a budget model. It's not quite as low end as the SI12 models, the SI12 2 and 3. This is part of their core range, like I said. So for £45, especially at this current time, again, like I said earlier, this video may or may not age very well, depending on what happens to the pricing. Normally these are somewhere in the region of about 65 pounds I've seen them for, and sometimes even slightly more than that. So it does pay to shop around. Like I said, at the time of this video recording, this is currently still on offer at uh, scan.co.uk. And I'll try and put some links in the video description for it. I'll put some Amazon links, because every now and then Amazon does come at trumps, and maybe some seller starts looking around, sees that someone else is doing a good price and they'll match it. So potentially you might get a bargain on Amazon and potentially all around the world, depending where you are. Hit the links and you'll find out for yourselves. So overall, I think it's actually a pretty decent power supply. You've got all the usual stuff in there. So you've got over voltage protection, over voltage protection, under voltage protection, all those kinds of things. Again, I'll link those or list them in the uh, the show notes below so you can work out what it is. Uh, essentially, it's a Seasonic power supply. What could possibly go wrong? And also it's got the Tough Alliance logo on there. So surely that's worth a few quid extra. I jest. So there you go. That has been Seasonic's Core GC500 power supply. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.